But that's a, is it fair to say that uh, Montreal itself seems to bring out the very best in you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I mean, great memories from from my first ATP main draw match when I played Chile. I played, you know, incredibly well, and and uh, the crowd support was incredible. You know, the atmosphere and the same thing tonight. So. Um, definitely can say that uh, you know Rogers Cup and, and here in Montreal brings the brings out the best of me. But how much is it important to have that crowd support? I mean, they were with you from the very beginning, but obviously when he won that first set, you'd expect that. But it feels like they really helped you in the you know getting over the second set loss. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's huge. It's huge. Obviously, uh, you know, in, in other situations you might get down on yourself a little bit. You know, I generally I, I tend to be a pretty good fighter, but it's it's not easy. You know, when you're playing somebody like John, you know, down, if you're down a break in the third set and he's serving huge today, he was serving incredible. So uh, definitely a huge boost. You know, you win a couple points, they start cheering, and and it definitely you know gets you uh, keeps you focused and in the match for a little bit longer. And and uh, yeah, it uh, definitely helped me today, no doubt about that. The thing is, it's not like it was, um, you know, one of those shots that maybe you could uh, expect. I mean, he's been playing so well himself, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Obviously, he's extremely confident. You know, uh, had two very good weeks. So, I mean, I knew he was going to play very well, and uh, I knew that I would have to play very well to to, to win. And 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 uh, yeah, it was. I thought it was a good match, and and obviously ended uh, incredibly well for me. And and I couldn't be more excited to be in the second round here. I mean, obviously, at a tournament like this, expectations are going to rise, but you are doing very well. You've just come off a win. You've been in the semi-final week before. So mm -hmm. is this a, do you think this is a transition? You're getting older, you're getting better and more used to this. Yeah, I mean, uh, I like to think so, for sure. You know, I, I, feel, I feel more comfortable playing uh, at the ATP level. <clears throat> you know, obviously, uh, you know, got up there, you know, a year and a half or, or two years ago and, and uh, Played some ATP matches, but I wasn't really in my own skin. I, I didn't feel uh, fully comfortable, and and uh, I've always been, uh, you know, kind of a person that needs to kind of grow into things a little bit like that. So, so I just feel, you know, more at home when I'm playing against, uh, you know, top guys when I'm playing at ATP events, uh, you know, this time around. So I think that's that's what's uh, helping me uh, get some wins this year. Do you think that experience of playing against Roger here two years ago? I mean, it was a bit of a lesson, I think, wasn't it? But do you think it's a really important thing to have had so early in your career? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, even even to this day, that was you know one of the highlights of my career. Even though I lost that match, just playing Roger, who is, who is you know who's been my idol since I was, you know, a little kid, 11, 12 years old. So that was incredibly special and amazing experience. I think it was the first time I played on center court, um, anywhere you know on a big center court like that, and and, and here at Rogers Cup. So. That definitely, I feel like I built off of that a little bit, and and you know every time I'm feeling more and more comfortable when I play on center courts and uh, against uh, you know players of that caliber. I haven't really asked you too much about the match itself, but that, I mean that third set coming back from four two, doing so well in the tie break, I mean it, it's fantastic performance. Yeah, they have off. Yeah, it's uh, one of those things. You know, you got get a little bit lucky too. You know, obviously things have to go your way when you're down a break uh, against uh, against someone like John because. Um, you know, and it's not always in your control when when somebody's serving that well. So, so you know, I got a, a few a few breaks maybe in, in the crowd, and then I played you know some some great points, and, and I was very proud of myself for for being aggressive. Uh, you know, at the end of the third set uh, and, and putting the pressure and, and you know taking my my, my chances and and um, yeah, it paid off today. And again, two years ago, you showed that fighting spirit, but I mean, physically, do you think you've improved a lot? Because I think you're suffering quite a lot from cramping during that match. And yeah, yeah. Physically, I feel like I'm I'm a totally different. Uh, I'm in a different body. So, so uh, yeah. I've, I've I think I've become more of a professional than I, than I was two years ago. I'm I'm being you know uh, doing doing everything I need to to make sure my body's feeling 100% and you know eating well. Uh, everything from you know eating well and recovery and and uh, you know doing the right things, fitness and getting enough sleep and. Everything, everything goes into that. So, definitely feeling like uh, I'm in much better shape, obviously now than I than I have than I've ever been. And Stepanek next. I mean, you'll be going into that match thinking just like you did today. No doubt, I'm going to go and win that and progress. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into it the same way as it uh, did today, which is just knowing I'm going to be in for a battle. Knowing that if I want to win, I'm going to have to play extremely well. So, knowing that I have a chance, obviously, to win because you know I feel like, uh, especially in tennis, on any given day, it's you know, we never know what can happen, and, and so I'm hoping to have a, you know, obviously play well, and, and we'll see how we'll see how it goes. You know, he's a very experienced player. 
it's going to be very difficult. So, uh, yeah, I'll just take it one point at a time and, and you know, see, how, see where that takes me. Give that crowd something more to cheer about. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> For sure.